Oh yeah, I'm going to make her um, some fire lighters. <clears throat> I call them disco burgers. These are the big four or eight. These are eight hour tea lights. So you want to pull pull them out of their little um, silver foils, and then take out the wick. like so. So you've separated the candle. Melt the wax. I've got it in a silver foil dish like a takeaway dish. Because I've done this before in a pan you just can't get the wax out. It just destroys your pan. So you're better off using something you can throw away. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pack this with cotton wool and the wick and then put the wax, pour the wax in. So if you pour the hot wax in there on top of cotton wool, when this burns it becomes an inferno and it will burn when it's raining, it will burn in the wet and it will just set fire to anything you put it next to. Or you can burn it on its own inside something, I don't know, like a BCB cooker and it will, you can cook on it. Alright, I'll get some cotton wool and we'll pack them out. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. balls, little cotton wool balls, we're going to fluff them up, put a little hole in, push the wick through, sit it back in there. Like that. In three of these, I've took the three waxes out and put them in there to melt. Just going to put a glove on and then we can pour this wax back in. Pouring it everywhere. This is why I've put down some foil. I've done this before, it just makes a mess. Hot wax is very hot, so don't get this on you. Don't let your kids do this either. Right, and so they're sitting in there. They're not, well, they are full up, but not to the extreme. Just don't use anything you want to keep, like the tin, and do it on a surface where if you spill it, you're not going to be scraping off your worktop. You can scrape it off where you can throw it fall away. So we've got some cotton wool, we're going to make a few more of these, and I'll be using these when I go out next, or one of them, just to get a fire going. Because it, when it's wet, this is brilliant, and they're lightweight, it's a candle, isn't it? But I'll explain how it works. Once you light the actual wick, it'll burn down like a candle, but when it reaches the surface, instead of burning the centre and not just the wick, it'll catch the cotton wool, and then it'll burn the whole top, and it'll come up, the flame should rise at least 10 inches off this perhaps more because i did it with the small ones before these are the big ones and um, my small ones they lasted over half an hour of constant flame of eight inches up so this one should be bigger and it should last longer so yeah this is how you make i call them a disco burger for fire lighting conditions fire lighter the one I made yesterday, which you've just seen in the video. Just gonna burn this one, this is the smallest one. It had less wax in it, and we'll see what it burns like. we we'll come back to it again and I'll pause it again for another couple of minutes. And that was another minute pause. I did um, blow on this to blow it out and you can put it out. It does take quite a bit to, of airflow, so a light wind won't put it out. And it's a clean burn as you see there's very little smoke coming off it.
and this would burn for a very long time. There's a lot of fuel there with that wax. So if you had this underneath a pot, like in a, a Trangier replacement, you can get good enough heat there. It'd take a little bit longer than a Trangier, but it's a good system for cooking on, starting a fire, keeping a flame going. So carry a couple of these if you can make some, and it's worth having. It's worth as, it's, even if you don't use it and it's a backup and it's your last resort, you know that this will burn. Obviously, if you're out and you haven't got anything like this, this you know that you can make them in the future if you just fail constantly at fires because of the conditions. And they're simple to make, they're available to everyone in the world. That's really going now. It's just getting the whole centerpiece is caught. We're getting a really good, strong flame. So, in total burn time, that's probably five minutes. And it's come up to this now. Good heat, and if that was in a little stove, that'd be good good heat. Like I say, when that gets going fully, that flame would be quite high. At the moment it's about four inches. I think a pack of tea lights, I think I got 12 for four pound. And these are the big ones. You can, you can use the small ones and cook over them. And you know how cheap they are. You get something like £2.50 or buy your 100. And cotton wool balls, they're cheap. Pound for a pack of hundreds. Yeah, I'm gonna blow this one out because if I leave it, this will go on for hours and hours. I won't have the video time. So I'm gonna put this one out and then let's try and blow it out now. We'll do a gentle blow and then we'll go for a hard one. It's like a gust of wind. Now I'm going to give it a harder blow. Yeah, we got it in the end. Well, I'm going to let that settle now because that's going to have to harden again before I can move it. It's starting to melt burn now as you can see there's steam coming off of the actual water and we've got some bubbles at the bottom and that's been going for about three minutes show you the flame flames going pretty good put it back on Well, that's been going, um, well, it's 20 past, so five minutes since I um, said it's quarter past. I think, you, you know, you're still a few minutes away, but you've got some good heat there. Yeah, you can feel the heat as well. And you're still going to, that ain't going to burn out, so you'll still have a blowout candle. And you'll still be able to do this with that one candle probably five or six times, if not more. I mean, I'm guessing because I haven't done it. So this is all tests. There's no wind in here. So I couldn't um, tell you what it'd be like outdoors. But you'll see a little wind protector around that. Because you just don't need the wind on that. We have some smoke. It's rolling up the back. Try and get that in. Very minor. Let's have a look at that flame again. Oh yeah, that's a big old flame there now. Let's put the light out and we'll see what the flame's like in the dark. That's how you'd have it outdoors. I 
That's 10 minutes since I started. But it was only a candle light when I started lighting this, it wasn't roaring. And that's going. So we're starting to get a boil. It's not a rolling boil yet, but it's a boil. And that's um, just over 10 minutes. But that is from it being a candle, just a little flame, to what it is now. Yeah, that's a boil. If you're, if you're boiling clean water that you've bought yourself, you know that that's good enough to drink. So just 10 minutes from a candle light and that's what it's like. I'm going to try and blow this out. <coughs> we should be able to relight that. It's just black in the surface. It hasn't really taken much of the wax out. So we'll leave that. I'm going to close my door before the smoke alarm goes off and we've got some boiling water. So yeah, pretty good, eh? If you want to make one or make some, that's simple. It's alright, it was done. Just get out there and do it. It's a backup thing. You don't have to use them unless you really need them. But for lighting fires, getting wet and damp wood going, it's brilliant. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos and thumbs them up and share. Okay, I appreciate all the feedback. Any comments below, please. If you want to ask questions or just comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.